After watching four pieces of media, including an annoying orange animal over the last few weeks, I took a break and finally went around watching Yorgos Lantimos's Poor Things. In this film, they tell us the story of a woman called Bella Baxter, who is played by Emma Stone, who got her brain replaced by a scientist called Godwin, or God for short, played by Willem Dafoe. She threw herself off a bridge while she was pregnant, and so Willem Dafoe's character places the child's brain inside her head to restart her life. After being resurrected, her brain goes through rapid growth, and she becomes a full-grown woman with childlike impulses. Because of the magnitude of this interesting experiment, she gets closely monitored by one of Godwin's students, who falls in love with her. This is kind of questionable if you keep in mind her situation, but anyways. She grows more curious and wishes to explore the world for herself. She meets this man who is very extravagant and good-looking, but very unintelligent. Stop! He takes advantage of her sexual exploration and decides to secretly take her out and embark on a world tour with her. And so they do. Bella goes to Lisbon, she goes on cruise ships, and then she goes to Paris. Why do you, this, why do you think the song Niggas in Paris is called Niggas in Paris? Cause niggas was in Paris. So hard, wanna find me. Where she becomes a prostitute liberal. Eventually, she goes back home when she hears terrible news about God's health. Julian! <laughs> Well, as you can hear, this story already sounds absolutely bananas, which is just the best way to describe it. The personal exploration is done in a nice manner, with Bella discovering how to walk, getting potty trained, discovering social norms and how her body works. It is all done in such intriguing but absurd manner. This is also done very humorously, without making a mockery of itself, which is a way more delicate process than it seems. And all of these great things are possible due to the incredible performance of Emma Stone, she gives a performance for the ages, which even won her a controversial, but in my opinion, very deserved Oscar. I would have loved having a cow and then milking it. I had never seen anything like this before and it was a nice breath of fresh air. She goes crazy in a way that is so in character. Mark Ruffalo as a supporting act was also pretty good. It is a nice break from his role as the Hulk and he gets to show what kind of actor he really is in this movie. And he takes his chance and he is f***ing great. He plays this controlling boyfriend type, which just works great as comedic relief and as an antagonist. In this movie, Yorgos Lantimos seems to critique the role that men have for women nowadays, and mostly how the controlling nature is a very toxic one. All my friends are toxic, call them. SHUT UP! This is seen in the role of Mark Ruffalo, who detests her as soon as she defies his control and seeks to sabotage her for questioning his authority over her. Later in the movie, where Bella encounters a guy who goes even further in this regard. You can kind of view this movie as a more adult-oriented Barbie in that regard. They seem to have the same messages on the front of patriarchy, but the packaging is different, where Poor Things seems to be more about empowerment than Barbie, who is more critiquing the patriarchy and celebrating womanhood. Lantimos's camera work is also, again, impeccable and unique. The sets were all very colorful and they go a long way in conveying the sense of a dystopian feeling and also just leads to absolute eye candy for your peepers. Besides that, he shoots some shots in this white lens where it kind of looks like you are watching through the peephole of a door, which is a very cool visual effect. To conclude, I don't know whether you would like Poor Things as it is a really absurd experience. Nevertheless, I would highly encourage you to give it a go as it is definitely an experience like no other.